In tonight's Health Edge, if you pop a pain reliever on a regular basis, it could end up affecting your hearing. This is all according to a new report in the American Journal of Epidemiology. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here now with what researchers found about this. It's important because so many of us use this. You know, this latest study found women who used the pain relievers, ibuprofen or acetaminophen or Tylenol, for six years or more had a 10% higher risk of hearing loss compared to those who didn't use those medications for a year or less. Now, researchers examined data data for more than 55,000 women between the ages of 48 and 73. They reported that women taking Tylenol were 9% more likely to report hearing problems. So it's important here. Now, do we know why this is happening? And are we talking about people who take this daily? I know it's regular, but is, does that mean daily? Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense, right? You're, saying you're taking a pain medication. How does, it, how does it affect your hearing? So this study didn't investigate how the drugs affected hearing, but they may affect the cells in the ear or affect blood and oxygen flow to areas that lead to hearing loss. If you regularly take the medication, like you're saying, for recurrent headaches, aches, or pains, don't just rely on drugs. Be sure to find out the root cause of your pain and what alternatives uh, you may have. And that's the key. Just don't use these drugs willy-nilly. Yeah. So what about aspirin? Yeah, that's another drug that we talk about. The research team did not find hearing loss connected with aspirin use. In the past, you had high dosages of aspirin that was linked to hearing loss, but these dosages haven't been common over the last couple of decades. Good so. old-fashioned aspirin. Okay, so what are your prescriptions, doctor? Absolutely. So hearing loss is extremely important and can really impact your life and your quality of life. So to help protect your hearing, here are my prescriptions. Number one, avoid too much noise and turn on the volume of your TV, car, and those personal listening devices in your ear that you see the kids wear all the time. Wear hearing protection in noisy settings. Protect your ears now with earplugs or earmuffs. Don't wait as noise-related damages cannot be reversed often. So number three, talk to your doctor. If you regularly take pain medications and you're concerned about your hearing, stop the medication. It may not be beneficial if your condition will negatively affect your daily life. And lastly, discuss any changes in your medication use with your doctor. Now this includes prescription and over-the-counter products. Remember, Tylenol is over-the-counter, and that way you're aware of the risks and benefits and can ask about alternatives. All right, Dr. Nandy, we certainly appreciate you as always. Have a great weekend. All right, and if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter. We always get it right to him. Have a good weekend, Doc. You too. Thank you so much. One of the most popular.